Are you a busy person and you don't have a lot of time to work out, but you also want to grow muscle and improve your muscle definition, then this video is the exact right one for you. Today I'm going to walk you through a workout that only takes you 35 minutes, including warm up and cool down. And instead of just demoing the exercises for you, I am actually training. I'm doing this workout and I walk you through with a voiceover because I thought this might be a little bit more authentic for you so you can see how I really train and how I suffer. And this full structure that I'm going to walk you through with a strength part and an endurance part, you can apply on your own exercise selection, but you can also find a full program that I've designed based on that structure in my new workout program in my app. I got a lot of requests for this workout program, so I put a lot of effort into this. And many people tend to do HIIT workouts or cardio sessions when they're short on time, but this doesn't bring you towards your goals. Because if you want to really grow your muscles and improve your muscle definition, then you need to aim for a progressive overload. And that means that we want to increase the overall volume over the next weeks. So either you increase your weights or you increase your reps in a certain exercise. And in order to do that, you need a structure and a very well designed training plan. And in case you're not training in the gym, but you have only access to dumbbells and kettlebells at home, for example, or you don't have any equipment and you're training at home, I have you covered as well because I designed this workout program for a gym edition, a dumbbell and kettlebell only version and a no equipment version. So you can choose the one that you have the equipment for. All right, let's set the timer and see if it really takes me 35 minutes. And before I'm going into the warm up exercises, I will give you the overall structure that we are going through, which is a warm up, a strength focus, a conditioning focus, a finisher and a cool down. Yes, we will go through this in 35 minutes and you will feel amazing. So let's start with a warm up. You see me doing PVC good mornings to really warm up our posterior chain. And next we are doing lunge and rotations, which are great to activate the legs and warm up the hips and the spine. And the third warm up exercise with our PVC as well are arch ups, which are great to activate our glutes, our spine and our upper back muscles. And the fourth exercise for the warm up are hip thrusts, but just with a barbell to go through the movement pattern first and to warm up for our upcoming working sets in our strength part. I made a note for you in the plan that you can go through the warm up exercises minimum two times and up to three times dependent on how much time you have and how much mobility you need on that day. In the second round of the warm up exercises, I recommend you increasing the weights for the hip thrusts already a little bit so you get closer to your working load. All right, let's start with our strength part, but before we go into it, I recommend you that you already have all the equipment that you need in place and different weights in case you need to choose a higher or lower load for the next upcoming sets and that will make your workout way more efficient. The strength part will take you exactly nine minutes because we are going to focus on two exercises and we will dedicate 90 seconds for each set of each exercise. That means we have hip thrusts and hanging leg raises as our strength exercises. And the goal is for you that you perform the given reps, for example, for the hip thrust, 10 reps within 90 seconds and the rest of the 90 seconds is your resting time and then you will have the hanging L races which you also have 90 seconds for and this whole thing we are going to do three times. So set a timer and let's go. For my hip thrust I have prepared some more weights because the reps will decrease for each set so we can increase our strength and if you need to you can also use a yoga mat or a pad that will make it much more comfortable when the bar is loaded on your hip flexors. And just in case you are not able to do hanging leg raises yet, you can do hanging tuck ups. This is also what I do when I'm just fatiguing and I want to get the rest out of 
every muscle. And you will also find easier versions in my training program, so you never have to feel lost when something is too difficult. Oftentimes people try to squeeze in HIIT workouts or something that just makes them sweat if they don't have a lot of time. And that is great and I'm really proud of people that actually do something and try to work out even they have busy schedules. But for muscle growth we need to make sure that we are also increasing weights over multiple weeks so that we get stronger and if you're only doing hit type of workouts with no rest or very very little rest then it is less likely that you get stronger this is why each of my workouts has a strength focus that we are going to improve in but we also get a nice sweat through the conditioning part that lets us just feel good in a short amount of time all right let's move on to the fun part we will have two five minute m reps to perform that means we are starting with a five minute m rep that consists of two exercises and those are dumbbell thrusters and kettlebell swings and your goal is it to perform as many rounds as possible of these exercises you will see in the training program the given reps so for this one in this week we have eight reps of dumbbell thrusters and 15 reps of kettlebell swings. So let's set a timer and see how many rounds we are able to do within five minutes. And trust me, five minutes sounds super easy. It is not. <laughs> Latest the third round is just so hard. And you think, okay, this, this workout is already so efficient. If you tried this workout, let me know in the comments how many rounds of this 5 minute MRAP you were able to do. I'm actually very curious. After the five minute MRAP, we will rest for two minutes and this is just enough to catch your breath and go straight into the next five minute MRAP, which consists of an upper body superset and we will do reverse rows and bench dips. For this one, the same principle as the first MRAP, just try to get as many rounds as possible for the given reps. For the reverse rows, I planned for you to do eight reps. So try to find an angle that makes the eight reps really challenging. The more upright you are, the easier it gets and the more horizontal you are, the harder it gets. Okay, a little catch up with the watch. I arrived at 28 minutes and 30 seconds and we have just enough time for our finisher, which should take you around three minutes and our cool down. So let's go into it. Our finisher is a core finisher because I love doing core as a finisher. It's great and just gives the nice core activation, the feeling you want to have in the end of your workout and we will perform weighted planks and plate pass crunch. For this one, we are aiming for three rounds without any rest, meaning if you need to rest in between, take the rest as you need, but try to keep it as short as possible. For this exercise, it is really important that you're not arching, but that you push your lower back against the weight your butt is squeezed and push out of your shoulder blades, meaning try to push the floor away with your hands. And for the plate pass crunch, if you can't perform any reps anymore with weight, you can also continue without weight for the last reps. All right, that was quick and dirty. It should burn a lot and we 
made it. The work is done and we have now one minute left for our final cool down stretch. Feel free to do more, but for a busy day, one stretch is totally fine. And for this workout, I planned a butterfly stretch. So you can just sit with your back against the wall. It is very comfortable. And if you need, you can also have your feet a little bit more in front of you if you're not able to pull them so close to you. And you can gently push on your knees to get a little bit deeper into the stretch of your adductors. So let's stop the timer and you can see the full workout with warm up and cool down barely took me 33 minutes and it is so efficient and I worked my whole body. But please note that I am very familiar with the workout. I am familiar with the exercises. So it might take you a little bit longer the first time you go through it. But after the first week, you should be more familiar with it and it shouldn't take you much longer than it took me. I hope you liked this video, so thank you for watching and I hope you know that you can crush it also in 35 minutes. And if you like the style of videos where I'm just training and you watch me training and I'm, uh, yeah, of course, walk you through the workout, then let me know in the comments because I felt like I want to show you what it actually means when I'm talking about training. Oftentimes people think that everything comes very easy to me because I'm doing this for several years. And of course, my routines are very easy for me to do because they are routines. I don't need to think about them anymore. I don't need to overcome something to do my healthy breakfast or to go to my training sessions. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't require a certain amount of effort for me every day. So when I'm training, of course, I suffer sometimes or I go to a certain point of pain to let my muscles grow. And many people don't know how far they can actually go. So I hope that you watching me training helped you a little bit to get an insight of at least my style of training. And I hope it inspired you. And if so, please like this video and hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I see you in the next one.